Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about field parameters. Now, this is a preview feature available in Power BI, and it's been in preview for a while now, for over a year. So uh, it's, it's got a lot of great functionality. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you could use this to uh, help with your page navigation and also reduce the number of visuals you may, you may be using. So let's check it out. Okay, I'm here in my Power BI desktop file and uh, it's a it's a simple file where i am analyzing sales in this scenario by brand by sales team by category and business unit and similarly i am analyzing cost across the same dimensions and volume as well now for the sake of this demo i've maintained the, uh, similar visuals across the three pages but you get the point typically we measure different kpis across similar dimensionality and compare performance or you know analyze the kpis so here to do this i have three pages one for each of the different kpis and i'm using page navigation to navigate across these pages um, now I've, you could build similar reports using bookmark navigation uh, and so forth but you have to you're building multiple visuals and multiple pages so i want to show how field parameter can be used to help with page navigation here and also potentially change, uh, reduce the number of visuals you, you have to maintain, all right? So let's go to a blank page. And um, here, if I go to modeling and under new parameter, I have this option for fields. Now, this is, like I mentioned, this is a preview feature. If you don't see that option, go to your uh, options uh, and in the under preview, uh, features you need to enable field parameters all right so once that's done you can uh, create your uh, parameter so let me create a parameter called kpis and here i can add all the kpis that i would want uh, in my parameter so i'm adding sales uh, so note these are all measures that i'm adding right uh, and units is my volume so once I, and it also creates a slicer on the page. So once I click create, it will go ahead and uh, create this KPI parameter with a slicer. Okay, so it, it did create this. So let's uh, now create a, a visual. So let's say I want to uh, buy my business unit name. I want to uh, create uh, a visual with, uh, with these different um, KPIs. So I created a new KPI. Uh, folder here so I can select the KPIs from here and notice that uh, it created uh, I, I can now have uh, I can see the costs sales and units across my different business units now let me change this to a different kind of visual and if I do that it moves KPI to legend so let me move that back to the axis and now we have the three different measures i think it uh, sales let's change the color for sales okay so that's uh, much better all right uh, so let's go to this uh, slicer and as i select the different uh, kpis or measures my visual changes accordingly and i can make this look like a, a page navigation as well right i mean we all know how to do this in uh, in a in a slicer Okay, so there you go. I have made it look like a page navigation. Now I can select units or sales or costs or select two of them so that I can compare uh, multiple of them. Okay, so so that's your page navigation. All right, so you don't need three pages. You can build all your visuals and uh, do your analysis across your different KPIs. The next thing is let you know in the previous uh, earlier in the visuals you saw for example if I go to uh, sales you saw that I was uh, analyzing sales across different um, dimensionality. Now, I have, in this case, I have four different visuals. Can I reduce this as well to a single visual? Yes, we can. So let's go back to modeling and then fields. And this time, I'll add the uh, dimensions right that I want. So I'm creating a new parameter and I'm selecting the different dimensions that I wouldn't want there. So let's say i want product category and maybe even the salesperson or sales team okay and then adds a new uh, slicer to the page okay so it did add the slicer and now if i let me make that a little bigger so we can all see it okay 
that's my slicer and then what I can do is in this visual instead of I have on my x-axis the business unit name so I'm going to take that out and see it created a new uh, folder for dimension so I'm going to bring that into my x-axis now I can compare for the sales team I can see the costs sales um, or by product category I can do that so you know you, you, you see where, where we're going with this with a single visual and a couple of these uh, parameters you uh, um, you can you can do a lot more you don't have to build multiple visuals to do your analysis it reduces the number of visuals you need to build and gives you a lot more uh, capabilities and you can compare across uh, different dimensions or different KPIs so I think this is a real useful feature uh, and I know it's in preview it's been in preview for over a year now so uh, and I've used it multiple times in multiple scenarios and it uh, really works um, so so I hope this uh, th this feature is helpful and uh, helps you build much uh, much more uh, uh, reduces the number of visuals that you're using in your uh, reports and uh, makes managing them easier so let us uh, know if uh, this was helpful and uh, as always obvious.com